Downloading a world on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Let's jump into it. First things first, you want to go here. This is the second link in the description down below, and this is where you can download a lot of Minecraft maps. Specifically, we're going to go ahead and grab a super popular map here, and that is going to be Ultimate Skyblock. Now, when you're downloading a map, you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you'll have the Downloads section here. Now, there are two ways to download a map. One is an MC World file, and one is a zip file. Generally, you want to use the MC World file so go ahead and click on it. Now from here, the process is not that great. Uh, unfortunately, this is a common thing with things on Bedrock Edition where you have to go and like click through an ad, wait a few seconds for the ad to, you know, basically kind of run its sor sort of course here. And then after a few seconds, you will get an unlock content link. Now, in my opinion, that should take you to download the map, but that's not the case. Uh, you're taking the link for ties. This is very, very common on Bedrock Edition. Go ahead and click free access here if you have it, and then it might, if you're lucky, take you to the download page like it has with me. Occasionally, you'll have to click another link or do something like what we just did on the previous page to get to the download link. Once you find the download page, though, it's going to make sure that the file name, which is Unlimited Skyblock, or Ultimate Skyblock, excuse me, is in the file name, and click the download button here. Then the download will begin, and it should be a .mc world file. If you can, directly from your browser, just go ahead and click on this file. It will then open up Minecraft Bedrock Edition, and the map will be imported into Bedrock Edition. This is a exactly what you should do on Android and iOS specifically, because as soon as you click that, it's going to open up on your device Minecraft and start importing the world. As you can see, world import as finished. Go ahead and click play. You can see Ultimate Skyblock is there. Click load anyway if you need to, and it will now load right on in. It is working. Now, as we can see, it is working. There we go. Now, with that being said, this isn't the only way to install maps. And what if you actually want to install a world using the zip file or find your world files in Minecraft Bedrock Edition? Let's go ahead and show you how to do that. But first, let's from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown to the XYZ slash SGH to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft Bedrock Edition server. It's super simple and easy to set your Bedrock server up. And we have expert live chat support and a high quality help center to help you out along the way. So if you want to start a Bedrock server this simple way, go to Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGH. Now I'm not going to make you sit through me downloading another map here. I'm actually not going to use Skyblock Ultimate because I don't want it to be the same map that we just did. I'm going to find one that has a .zip file available for us, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, download that for you. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go with this one block map here. Now the difference is this will be a .zip but this is also going to be added where you will find your worlds that you can then back up. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, first things first, what we want to do is go ahead and get the map that we downloaded and kind of prep that to be installed. To do that quickly, because generally you should use the MC World file, you're just going to right click and extract all on it and let that extract happen. Then, once we've done that, we want to make sure as soon as we open it, this is what we see. That is what we see, so we are good to go. And we can go ahead and delete the .zip file. Now, we want to go ahead and open up the Run app. So it's going to be the Run app here. And then in the Run app, we want to type percent local app data percent. Percent local app data percent and hit enter. That's going to open up this here. And what we then want to do is find the packages folder here. So scroll down and find the packages folder. Inside of that, Microsoft.MinecraftUWP. So let me go ahead and uh, find that really fast. Right here it is, and the end of it is 8WEK, etc, etc. But it's Microsoft.MinecraftUWP with the 8WEK there. Open that up, and then within this, we want to go ahead and click on local state, and then finally click on games, com.mojang, and then Minecraft Worlds. Yeah, it was pretty difficult to get here, but this is where your worlds are. This is the Skyblock world we actually just added. As you can see, Ultimate Skyblock there. And we can add new worlds right in here to this folder. So let's go ahead and do that. This is going to be the Skyblock world we added. And now if we go ahead and open up Minecraft Bedrock Edition, 
We can see that if we go to play, we have the one block 1.20 that we just installed. We can click on it and launch right on in. So that's how you can add zip files and, and you know extract them and add the folder there, as well as how you can find your existing worlds all on Minecraft Bedrock Edition without having to use in-game or anything like that. Being able to go find them like that is very powerful in my opinion because it allows you to back up worlds without having to go in-game or retrieve or recover worlds if for whatever reason you can't go in-game. But nevertheless, that is how you can download Minecraft Worlds on Bedrock Edition. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below and be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.